All right, I am in Germany for two weeks now and I start to miss Asian food. And I would like to check out how is Asian food here in Germany. Is it authentic? And I'm going to take my mom with me today. Yeah, in the next town, which is like 20 minutes away, we do have three Asian restaurants. So I called them, ordered some food and we're going to pick it up now. Are you excited to try some Asian food? I am very excited, yes. So I choose some dishes that I I knew the original taste in Malaysia or in Thailand. So let's see how original they taste here in Germany. I have to say I start to enjoy driving again. I didn't drive a car for three years in Asia, only motorbikes, but I start to enjoy driving again. It's fun again. Okay, bye bye. So I'm dropping off my mom. She has a physio appointment here, which will take 20 minutes. So this is the time where I will pick up the food and then we pick up my mom again. So where we currently are is actually another village. Yeah, it's like a village after village here basically. And in between we have fields, countrysides, a few houses here and there. This is very typical. Uh, basically the whole area here looks like this. Oh yeah, for me it's uh, yeah actually quite nice to just drive around here. I have memories on basically or in basically every street here because yeah I spent most of my life in this area here. I think it's here on the right side now. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah, here it is, China Restaurant. All right, I got the first uh, two dishes actually. In total, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six dishes. And um, yeah, let's go to the next restaurant, which is just around the corner. All right, parking here. So the next restaurant is called Hanoi Asia, but um, they are not only having uh, Vietnamese food, they have different Asian food. Also the restaurant over there, the China restaurant, does not only sell Chinese food, So, and I got the next dishes. I'm going to tell you what we have when we are back home. Now, let's go to the third restaurant, which is actually a Japanese restaurant, but I'm going to get Thai food there. I have to say, I'm actually really surprised by the amount of Asian food I can find in our small town here. I mean, this is not a big city. If you're going to the really big cities like Berlin, Frankfurt or Hamburg, I'm pretty sure you can find Malaysian food, lots of Thai food, Chinese food. But I'm actually really surprised that there's a lot of uh, choices here in our small town as well. So here we have like the city center of our small town here. Lots of uh, clothing shops here. We have the train station on the right side here. And this is like a little walking street where you can walk through. There are some bars, some cafes and the train station at the end. And a grandpa driving on the street with his, how do you call it in English? <laughs> that is funny. All right, let's park here next to the haircutting place. Only for customers of the haircut place, but uh, okay. I'm just gonna be gone for a few minutes. So I've collected all the different, uh, hopefully delicious meals. Hello. Uh, we have to replace the food now. Yeah, put it in the back seat. Let's put it in the back. Right. How was your appointment? Well. Well. Boring, but effective, yes. But you're hungry now? Yes, I am. And it's we nice. have a lot of food there now. I wish you could smell it. It smells really, really good. Yes. And <laughs> it's all warm. Yes. So let's get back home and then I will show you and tell you what food exactly we are having. All right. Actually, this is not the only thing that we have. We have some more because uh, earlier today we have been to Oldenburg, which is uh, the next bigger city here. And there actually we found a Thai and Asia market, which sells lots of imported stuff from mostly from Thailand. But it was actually pretty interesting for me to see so many familiar things from, uh, from Thailand in there. So they had Thai snacks, for example, Thai beer, I even found a durian there. That was quite interesting to see. So we also bought some stuff from there. 
For example, I can show you right away mochi, which is a yes, sticky rice type of snack, sweet. So we can try that as well. We have a bit coconut pandan mochi, and we found these ones, cow shong, coated green peas, which my mom wanted to try. I actually have never seen them before. And I also bought in the, the, the Thai supermarket, I bought a Thai beer, Chang beer. It was actually nice. The, the owner of the, the shop was a lady from Isan in Thailand. So I could also speak some, uh, some Thai with her. And in order to drink a proper Thai beer, we need ice cubes. In Thailand, people drink beer with ice cubes. All right, and something that we also found at the uh, Asian supermarket earlier was ginger beer, which reminds me about Sri Lanka. I couldn't find any Sri Lankan food around here, but we have ginger beer, which I tried in Sri Lanka. And you are curious to try this, right? I am very, never had ginger. All right, so we can maybe, so you don't really want the beer, right? So you can have the ginger beer, I which is- I the ginger beer, yes. Ginger beer is not alcohol. It's yeah, just cold beer. They don't need to. So I'm gonna have the chung then with ice cube. We need more ice cubes. Yeah, for, for Germans, it's very uncommon to put ice cubes in beer. It is, yes. Yeah, you would never see that in a German restaurant, but uh, I want to drink it the Thai, the Thai style way. Actually, let me try a little bit as well. It's nice, actually. Oh, it's way more sweet than the one I tried in Sri Lanka. Is it? Way more sweet, yeah. Whereas yeah, in, in yeah, Sri Lanka, yeah. it was more like a spicy kick to it. But anyway, okay, so the beer, yeah, it's an original imported beer, so the taste will be the same as in Thailand. I'm gonna try that as well when I finish that. But yeah, let's talk about the food, and I will also tell you the price of all of this. So, what we are supposed to get was, uh, first of all, this is from the last restaurant, the Japanese restaurant, and it's supposed to be Thai basil. This is just rice with chicken and vegetables. This doesn't look like a typical Thai basil. Where's the Thai basil? And then from the first restaurant, from the China restaurant, we got nasi goreng. That's what the menu said. And nasi goreng, it's uh, nasi in Malaysia means rice mm -hmm. and goreng means fried. Okay. So it's supposed to be fried rice, which it is, but it looks very different than in Malaysia. Like I think in Malaysia, I never saw nasi goreng in yellow. So it looks like curry rice. It looks like kurkuma, and then we, we have, kurkuma in it, maybe. We have chicken in okay. here. Not really sure what this is. And then I also, from the China restaurant, got wonton soup, which actually looks quite as I know it. And then from the Hanoi restaurant, we have uh, spring rolls, mm -hmm. which sweet sour sauce, I think. Then we have wonton, which what? I've never seen like this. Let's try it right away. It's very oily. It's fried, definitely. And yeah, this is the last dish, which is supposed to be chicken chop suey. Another thing I thought maybe, um, if, if you try to sell Thai food here in Germany, maybe the, uh, the chefs adjusted to the German palate. Yes. So the Germans might actually like it. Yes, I definitely it. think so. For example, like normally when you order Thai dishes, they are always, or most of the time, spicy. Yeah, I don't see a single chili flake in here. Actually, there's cabbage in here. Do you see that? Yes, cabbage, right? It's cabbage. Yes, it's in the soup. Interesting. Ah, and my mom even organized chopsticks for me. Well, <laughs> Which I can use by now. Well, I can't. Okay, you're gonna try the wonton soup first? I would have thought it's more it's spicier than that than it is. Not every Asian food is spicy, especially the, the Chinese food. So wonton soup is, I think, originally a Chinese food. Okay. And they are usually not that spicy. But usually I would expect the, the Thai food to be spicy. Mm -hmm. The nasi goreng can also sometimes be spicy. So I actually uh, put on my plate now the nasi goreng, the Thai basil and the chicken chop suey. Let's try the nasi goreng first. So this is some beef here. Okay. Oh no, this is not the same. It's still nice, but it tastes just like rice with curry. Also, the chicken is really tasting. The spices are missing, definitely. I'm not a chef. I already know what all these some chefs in Malaysian kitchens or Thai kitchens are putting into the dishes, but I, I know that something is missing here. All right, let's see the Thai dish. Maybe there's more spicy kick to it. 
Oh, there's a there's a flavor in there which I remember. Ginger or lemongrass. I always mix up these two, mm -hmm. which is very typical for, for Thai dishes. Okay, let me actually, I want to try this sauce a little bit. Some sauce over the rice. Ooh, now with the sauce, there's also a spicy kick to it. It is spicy. The, the sauce makes it spicy, actually. So we have a typical spicy lemongrass or ginger flavor in here. <laughs> so this is more authentic, way more authentic than the nasi goreng. Although like I know probably in Malaysia, there are many different ways to prepare nasi goreng. There's not just one way or one taste to it because nasi goreng is basically just fried rice. So you can prepare it in this way or this way. But I can say that I never had nasi goreng in Malaysia that was tasting like this. Actually, I'm gonna try the wonton soup as well. Oh, completely different taste. This tastes very Germanized. It tastes like a German noodle soup. This is definitely not uh, like wonton soup you can find in Malaysia, for example. Does it look like the real thing? It looks, it looks like wonton soup that you can also find in Malaysia, but totally different taste. It tastes very, how do you say that, blunt? Spices are missing, flavors are missing. I mean, it's not bad, but I have the feeling that the Asian cuisine probably is way more full with spices and flavors. So I, I'm almost saying like it tastes boring for me now. So then we have the chicken chop suey. Chop suey is a dish that I also tried in Sri Lanka quite often. The chop suey is not bad, but once again, it's definitely not the same as in Asia. And then we have spring rolls. That's vegetarian, right? Mm -hmm. We don't have meat in the spring rolls here and they are, yeah, okay, I would say. It's nice, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what you need here for the Thai flavor, you need the sauce. The sauce mm. is full with the flavor of Thailand. That's not hot, right? It's, it's it is a little bit spicy, yeah. I'm saying a little bit now because I'm used to eating spicy food, although I don't really like to eat spicy food and don't do it often, but I'm used to it. Let's see how my mom thinks how spicy it is. This is definitely the spiciest of all of them. It's got a bit of a fishy taste. Is fishy that possible? Taste. Yeah, I don't know. I think many dishes in Thailand they use fish sauce to cook it. Maybe that's what. But I wouldn't really taste the, the fish fishiness here. And nasi goreng. That's nice as well. Yeah, I like that as well. Mm -hmm. I like that the best, followed by the nasi goreng, and that is number three for me. <laughs> Yeah, I would say, okay, judging it from what is the most authentic dish, that's definitely the Thai dish. Okay. But uh, I wouldn't say that these are bad tasting. It's just not, there's no original taste. It's not, it doesn't taste like in Malaysia. It doesn't taste like the chop suey I had in Sri Lanka. The wonton is totally different. So uh, the most authentic one, definitely the Thai dish. And I'm really sure like in the big cities, like this is not a big city here. In the big cities, you have a, greater choice of Asian restaurants and so, yes. maybe even more authentic ones. And yeah, what was the price of all of this? This will maybe surprise you because yeah, obviously uh, in Germany going to a restaurant is way more expensive than it is in Asia. So I paid in total 40 euro for all of this. So okay. we have we have three main dishes and basically three side dishes. The one tan here, the one tan soup and the spring rolls. 40 euro, that is 185 Malaysian ringgit. That is 42 US dollar. That is 1,458 Thai baht and that is 15,000 Sri Lankan rupees. So of course, way more than you would pay for these dishes or similar dishes in Asia itself. So this meal would be good for three people. Mm -hmm. So let's say like 15, 18 euro per person. And is that a lot with a German income? I think it's still not, it's not cheap. All right, let's actually give the mochi a try. It should be a sweet dessert. I really love coconut pandan. One for you. Thank you. Yeah, it's like, uh, usually like glutinous rice. Mm. Oh, I really like it. This typical pandan and coconut flavor. It's like mm. a gummy bear. Mm. Hmm? It's like a gummy bear. Like a gummy bear. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is very good. The coconut coating. Mm -hmm. So this is what we bought at the, the Asia shop. So I guess it's imported. I'm not really sure from which country. Oh, Taiwan. 
Treasure of Taiwan. So this is from Taiwan, but you can also get it. Uh, it's very typical in Malaysia as well, and I'm, I'm, I think in Thailand as well. And yeah, if you're also curious to see more about my home, my home village, my mom cooking some homemade German food, then check out the previous video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.